Hello and welcome back to Rob's PC Workshop. Today we're going to be working in Packet Tracer um, and we're going to Traffic Flow and Enterprise Network is we're going to be experiencing. So first thing we're going to do um, we're going to build a network. So we're going to select end devices from the option in the bottom left hand corner, drag and drop three generic PCs. Select switches from the options in the bottom left hand corner out of 2950-24 switch. Select connections in the bottom left hand corner and choose copper straight through. Connect each PC to the switch. Now we need to configure network devices. We're going to select a PC and choose the desktop and select IP configuration. So we'll go to PC0, go to the desktop tab, select IP configuration, so it gives us our IP address, our subnet mask, and our default gateway. Right here. We'll go ahead and set this as our static IP for PC0, PC1, it's 192.168.1.11. Gives us our subnet mask. And of course, our default gateway is going to be the same. Okay, so now we've went through our IP configuration to set up all our IP addresses. So now we're going to observe traffic flow. We're going to switch to simulation mode. By selecting the tab that is partially hidden behind the real time, um, the, select the edit filters to ensure that they're only ARP and ICMP are showing. So edit filters, ARP. and ICMP. Okay, ARP, ICMP. Add a simple PDU by clicking the closed envelope on the right vertical toolbar. Closed envelope. Move to PC0 and click to establish the source. PC0. Move to PC3 and click to establish the destination. So, PC2, I'm sure is what it means. Notice the envelopes are now positioned beside PCA. One envelope is ICMP while the other is ARP. The event list and the simulation panel will identify exactly which envelope represents ICMP and which represents an ARP. So select auto capture or play. And we're going to watch our packet get sent. 
as you can see it goes from here and the switch sends it out to all available spots and it says this isn't where we want it and so it sends it to PC2 and it says oh that's what we want and so it sends it back and says yep this is the right route keep sending information this way Okay, so now we're going to PC0 and choose the desktop tab. Uh, go to the command prompt and type in ARP A. Notice the MAC address for PC2 is in the table. Examine the ARP tables for PC1 and PC2. and they show nothing. This one shows a physical address. Why is the ARP table for PC2 empty? Um, I ha think it has relative to the packet not coming back, so it doesn't have the information. If a ping was, was to be sent from PC0 to PC2 right now, where would an ARP packet be generated? Yes. And I don't have a PC3. I think they mean PC1 and PC2. I think it would generate a packet. Because it sent one before. I don't know. That's um that's the flow of traffic, so I hope that's been helpful. Have a nice day.